So in order to learn MATLAB, I'm going to start with introducing the different environments in the software. Um, so we have the current folder, which is the folder where all your files will be saved as we create scripts and function files and maybe even save figures and data files. Everything will be stored in here. And if we click on any of those files, you will see some information will show up in the details. Right now I have created this Mat tutorials folder under my MATLAB directory where I will be saving all my files here. Uh, there's nothing there saved because this is just the beginning of the tutorial so it's empty. But as you progress through the, uh, the tutorials and these lessons you will see that files will be shown up in here. The next one is called workspace where your variables and their values will show up in here. So if I create variables in my scripts or during my commands here in command window they will all show up in here and their values will be shown in here. And again, as we progress through the tutorials and I start making uh, scripts or commands in MATLAB, you will see them showing up in here. Next part is command window where I can write commands and uh, every time I write a command and press enter, that command will be run. Let's say for example here, I'm gonna say A is equal to two and I put a semicolon there. And as you can see, variable A is made there and its value is equal to two. And the semicolon here that I put means that don't print anything or per, uh, perhaps don't print the result of this command at the, after I press enter. If I say B is equal to three, but don't put the semicolon there and press enter, you see that it shows B is equal to three. It's a good practice to not have this, uh, to, to actually have this semicolon because if I write a script, a long script, and I don't have the semicolon at the end of my lines, every step is going to have an output and that output is going to show up in here. And that would not make it very easy to read. I just want to print out the stuff that I require that are important for me to write. So let's say C is equal to, and again, this, this is a, a practice I like to do by putting space between my uh, uh, variables and uh, the operators a to the power to the power of b and i put a semicolon there so basically a is 2 b is 3 so 2 2 to the power of 3 is going to give me 8 if i click enter you can see that c is equal to 8 is made there now i want to print this c for example in my in my command window so I can basically just put C and it shows up there or I can write a command which I will be talking about later too but I just want to give you a hint or a heads up of uh, one of the cool ways of printing stuff and uh, the command window of MATLAB is called fprintf and you start a, a parenthesis. Uh, fprintf command can print stuff in a file as you can see here file ID or in the command window if we don't provide a file ID and we just give the format spec. So I just want to give a format spec and say C or let's put it lowercase C is equal to and start a percentage sign which means I want to do a, do a format and uh, let's say uh, 3D and put N. I will talk about these as we uh, go further in the tutorials and the lessons and what these formatting means and if I and then I close it basically backslash n means go to the next line and then I close this uh, or I go to the next stage which is uh, giving the uh, the variables I only have one uh, format for number so I just have to give one number which is c and then it doesn't really matter if I put semicolon here or not but for good practice I will and what fprintf will do is after I press enter it's going to print that thing there so c is equal to eight and I just pressed up button and if, if I do up button actually in here it goes through the history uh, that I've had and it just shows stuff uh, that I have basically typed in the command window earlier and I can rerun them. So here uh, eight it has some extra space there because I said three spaces for a um, basically an integer number there. So the, the first two spaces are empty because eight is just one digit. And then it just printed uh, eight and went to the next line. 
So this is basically the command window. We can write, we can type stuff in here. But when we write, want to write uh, basically big, big codes with lots of uh, lines of code and commands in there, it's good to save them in a script. And this is where we will write our scripts and uh, run them. We can write just scripts or we can type and make function files where we can use later or call them later in our codes if we have a function that will be used a lot of times. And I will talk about them uh, later as we progress in the, in the tutorial. So in the editor, I can create a script. Let's just create one for um, basically uh, an example. I'll explain everything later, but just do some basic thing. Clear means basically get rid of everything in the workspace or memory. Close all means if any figure is opened, just close them. And CLC means clear the command window. So if I do CLC here, for example, see that everything is gone, but the uh, workspace is still uh, filled with the variables that I had defined earlier. Now I want to say A is equal to 2, B is equal to 3, and C is equal to A to the power of B, F print F, C is equal to 3D, and uh, backslash N means go to the next line, and then uh, basically give the C there and press enter or put the semicolon there. Now, in order to run this piece of code, I can either save it and run it with pressing F5 or I can just press control enter. If I press control enter, I don't need to save it. Uh, but if I press this button or press F5, I will have to save it first. And let's actually save this and give it lesson zero one and save it there and let me go back to the current folder as you can see lesson zero one dot m is showing up here back uh, the suffix m represents either a uh, script which is shown with this icon or a function file which we will see later as we proceed in the um, in the tutorial as i teach you how to create function files so now that i have saved it I can either press this button or press F5, which you can see here, it shows F5 there. And if I press this button, see that C is equal to eight prints in the command window. And here I have run, run a section, and I can do a lot of things in these uh, tabs, like saving and publishing after you write a big code, if you wanna give it to uh, people, you can use this publish to create PDF, Word, or HTML uh, files of your MATLAB scripts, and uh, yeah, we will go through all of these throughout this these tutorial series, and um, hopefully, you will learn useful stuff about MATLAB. I hope this uh, new the first tutorial of MATLAB was helpful, and I'll try to make more entertaining and uh, educational tutorials for MATLAB.